Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the simply supported beam deflections formulas. So we have different simply supported beams and we will discuss their deflection formulas when there is a uniformly distributed load acting on the beam or when there is a uniformly varying load acting on the beam or there is maybe pointed or concentrated load acting on the beam. So according to the different conditions, we will uh, define the deflection formulas. So starting from this first beam, where it is a simply supported beam, where it is only hinge support and roll support, such type of beam is known as the hinge, uh, simply supported beam. And let's suppose the load is acting, pointed load is acting at the midpoint of the beam of magnitude P. So half of the length L by 2 is here and L by 2 is here. If this is the total length of the beam, so the load acts at the middle of the beam. Now, due to this point load, the maximum deflection of the beam will be somehow like this. And we will have maximum deflection at the mid-span delta maximum. So the maximum deflection formula for such type of beam with such type of load will be PL cube divided by 48 into EI where P is the load acting on the beam, pointed load, L is the total length of the beam, this total length of the beam, and 48 is the constant, and E is the elasticity of the beam. Either this beam is of concrete, so we will use the E of the concrete, or this beam is of steel beam, so we will use the E elasticity of the steel, or this beam is made up of aluminium, and so on. So E depends on the material properties. I is the moment of inertia of the beam where if we have rectangular beam then we will use the rectangular moment of inertia for the beam like BH cube divided by 12 and if we have circular beam then we will use the circular moment of inertia for the such type of the beam. So I depend upon the geometry of the beam section. So this was the first case. Now the second case is when there is uniformly distributed load acting on the beam such as W over the whole length L. So in this case the maximum deflection can also be seen at the midpoint here delta maximum and the delta maximum in such case will be equal to the 5, divide, 5 WL power 4 divided by 384 into EI where 5 by 3 to 4 is a constant, W is again the uniformly distributed load in this case, L is the total length of the beam and EI is the stiffness of the beam or we call the elasticity of the material of which the beam is made of and I is the moment of inertia of the beam. So the third case is when the load, pointed load acting at a certain distance P at this act at a distance of A from the left end and this x at a distance of b from the right end, this pointed load, and let's suppose this is the total length of the beam is L. So how we can find the maximum deflection in this case, which will also occur like at the mid span, delta maximum. So in this case, delta maximum can be found out by this formula, that P is the load acting on the beam into B. B is this distance into 3L square where L is the total length of the beam minus 4B square B is again this distance dividing by 48 into EI so this formula is used to find out the maximum deflection of the beam occur the fourth case is when there is a uniformly varying load on the beam starting from zero magnitude and increasing and increasing here is a zero magnitude and this load is increasing, increasing up to the maximum load. So when there is a triangular load or the uniformly varying load, in this case, if this is the length of the beam, so the maximum deflection can be found out by this formula, which will be also somehow like this. And here we will have maximum deflection. And in such case, the maximum deflection will be equal to the point zero zero six five two WL power four into EI. So this is the way how to find out the maximum deflection when there is a uniformly varying load. 
the next case or the last case I would say when there is a triangular load but in this way for example this is a one triangular load acting on the half of the beam L by 2 and the half of the triangular load acting in this way starting from 0 so this when this type of the load acting on the beam the triangular load increasing from 0 up to the maximum here and here from 0 up to the maximum so in this case the maximum deflection this is also L by 2 so the maximum deflection will be somehow like this at the mid span of the beam so this maximum delta in this case can be found out by this formula WL power 4 into 120 into EI so again W is the load acting on this beam uniformly varying load L is the total length of the beam and EI is again the due stiffness of the beam so if we look to the formulas EI is always there in the formulas so you should always have the elasticity of the material and moment of inertia of the beam then you can find out easily the maximum deflection formulas for the different simply supported beam cases so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video